Hi, I'm Maya, and I'm a donor relations associate. And I'm Amy, and I'm a program manager. And we work at headquarters in Seattle, Washington. I've been with the Borgen Project for about five months. I came on as a donor relations intern. I serve as the point of contact for our interns in their fundraising efforts. I process fundraising letters, which are the primary fundraising tool used by our interns. I process donations and compile weekly and monthly fundraising statistics. I also help out the content team by working on search engine optimization in order to boost the visibility of our content. And I've been with the organization for about two years now. I manage the in-office team, which includes donor relations and social media. And I also manage the HR team and train our interns in our recruiting and hiring process. When it comes to policy and advocacy, I also schedule meetings for our staff in Washington, DC, and update and organize the legislation we're currently supporting. I'm Christine. I'm in the Washington, DC metro area. I've been with the Borgen Project since the fall of 2016. I'm a program manager and I work with the HR team, um, primarily with candidate review, recruitment and selection, interviewing. I also work on some training initiatives, organizational development initiatives, and internal and external communications. My name is Brendan and I'm the managing editor of the Borgen Project's two online publications. My role is to cement and maintain the position of the Borgen Project Online as a reputable leading authority on global poverty with journalistic integrity and a non-partisan philosophy. I'm here in the capital city of New Zealand, a country where citizens have almost unparalleled political freedom, peace and prosperity. There's a perception that countries where citizens can thrive and be safe from violence or persecution got there by virtue of some lottery and that those who live in environments of fear, poverty, illness and extremism are just unlucky. Downsizing poverty is not simple, but it can at least be common sense. Critical infrastructure, ubiquitous education, access to credit, the empowerment of women, responsible and compassionate government that will provide for the sick, the very young and the elderly. I'm proud to be part of this small nonprofit doing big things on Capitol Hill and all across the United States. I also lead a fantastic team of editors who help turn the work we receive into high quality news content that's up there with any associated press publication. We have thousands of articles that rank as the number one search return on Google and we aim to replicate this success as often as possible with a strong focus on search engine optimization. Hi everyone, this is Brian here with the Borgen Project and I work on congressional relations at the Borgen Project. That means that I support the work of thousands of volunteers all over the country who are meeting with members of Congress or writing them or calling their offices to express their support for critical pieces of legislation. I support that work by going to Capitol Hill here in Washington, D.C. and meeting with the staff of those policymakers and telling them about the bills that the Borgen Project supports and why we support them and what we think they're going to do to help end poverty around the world. One of the reasons I work on these issues with the Borgen Project is because I really believe in the power of collective advocacy. The U.S. government spends more than any other country in the world on foreign aid programs. And I want to support the work of the Borgen Project to make sure that the money and resources that we spend on these critical programs are going to the people who need it the most and who really don't have a voice uh, when it comes to making policy decisions around these issues. I think uh, we have not just a right but a responsibility in this country to hold our policymakers accountable uh, and really encourage them to take action to help the poorest people around the world. And I'm glad that I get to play even a small part of doing that with the Borgen Project.